Cypher and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some DIY tumbler pins. So first of all, I want to give credit to Drew Scott and Draw So Cute, I believe, because they made DIY pin videos that I thought were amazing and I definitely was inspired by them, so I will leave their videos down below. So these are very, very affordable. I didn't have to go out and buy anything. I just had everything at home already. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and leave a comment down below. No. Leave a comment down below if you guys want to talk to me. We can have a conversation about Sean Mendes. I forgot to make a Sean Mendes pin. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you like my videos. Tap that bell icon if you want to be notified every time I upload a video because I don't know, maybe you think my videos are cool and worth watching. Just putting that out there. Let's get started. First step in completing DIY is. Mm, why do I have an accent? Anyway, so the first step you want to do is either draw or print out your designs. Obviously, I'm drawing these out. You also want to make sure that your designs are three times as large as you want them to be in the end on your pin. So those are all my designs. You guys are going to be so surprised when I show you what kind of material you're going to need for the plastic part of the pins. And that's just regular old plastic. I looked around my house for all of the plastic that I had and the only thing you have to make sure is that the plastic has this number six on on it with a little triangle around it because that's the only plastic that will shrink in the oven and I ended up using this plastic from a sushi container but here I like majorly messed up and I used this number one plastic because I had no idea what I was doing the first try it just didn't turn out well but basically what I'm doing is just tracing the designs onto my plastic with a black sharpie and I'm doing that for all the designs if you guys are 90s kids you guys will remember what this is it's a Tamagotchi that was like my life as a kid so I'm now using some metallic sharpie to color in this alien one and I'm also doing this like hello one by outlining with gold writing the hello word with gold and then coloring in with black sharpie here I'm coloring in the lips with a red sharpie and I would definitely recommend coloring in all of your designs with different colors of permanent markers if you have them I happen to only have red at this time it was just kind of a pain in the butt because it's just so much easier to color in beforehand but if you're like me and you don't have like like all the colors then I'll show you an alternative later but it's just a hassle and a half so now I'm just cutting out all of my little shapes you can either leave a border or you don't have to if you don't want to so I did a bunch of different things as you can see like flowers cacti aliens lips you know all the little tumbler kind of things. After that, I'm going to preheat my oven to 300 and 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you just want to go ahead and put your little plastic pieces on a piece of aluminum foil on like a tray or something and then put those in the oven and this should only take up to like a minute and this is the magical part that it's, it's my favorite part because you can watch them curl up and shrink and just it's so satisfying to watch. And I just love it. And after that, if you see that they're still curled, you can like quickly grab a glass or something and just smush them. Oh, got a text message. That doesn't really happen very often. You can just smush them down to make sure that they're flat. And here's some more curling action for your satisfaction. That rhymed. So this is how they turned out. I just, I was just obsessed when they came out. You can see that it turns thick and it turns a lot smaller. So this is the original versus the actual size. So you can see how much it shrinks. So these are my failed attempts because I used the wrong type of plastic. It was not a fun time because I spent so long on these. Make sure you use number six plastic. Now, since I didn't have my colored Sharpies with me, I have to go the difficult route of painting on this tiny pin. So I flipped over the pin to the back and just took my acrylic paint and just like painted all the colors that I needed. I'm also sanding some of them down on the back so that the paint will stick to the plastic better. You can also attempt to sand down the original piece of plastic before you put it in the oven and then use some watered down paint to try and do that. If you try that out, let me know how it works out because I would love to know. After 
after you've sanded it down, you can also use pencil crown to color these in. It just like doesn't show up as much, but it does work. For this one, I also tried painting on the front side because I just wanted to see what it looked like. Obviously, this takes a lot more time because you have to like scrape off the paint on the original black stuff. So for the lines, I actually took pencil crayons, dipped them in the paint, and then I painted it that way. And it just like, it was really hard, but I mean, I got through it. <laughs> so if you're patient, I mean, this works. I just went back in with a fine marker and I just redid that. So for some of them, I painted the backs white just so that it was like an opaque color. You know? Yeah. So now for the pin backings, I didn't go out and buy actual pin backings because mm, we don't need to do that. I had a bunch of safety pins and old pins that I could just reuse. So now I'm taking some E6000 glue. You can also use a glue gun, which would be a lot faster. And I'm just basically gluing the pins and safety pins to the backs of the plastic little thingies. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally spent zero dollars on this because I had everything at home already. And I'm pretty sure you guys will have everything at home too. Just have fun with it. And if all else fails, you can just like put the plastic in your oven and watch it like curl up and melt because that's probably like the best part. But I also think that these pins turned out super cute. Like I kid you not, these are my new obsession. You can put them anywhere. I put them on my pencil case because that's just like how I've been doing it since high school. If you try this out, make sure to send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag generation DIY tag me and everything like that I will go like your photos and yeah so that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys are having a jolly good day I will see you guys next time bye